Welcome back. We're still reviewing the punch. So I have uh, Nigeria 64, we must reform or collapse. Uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on Tuesday stated that Nigeria must either reform for progress and prosperity or continue with business as usual, risking collapse. He said his administration upon taking over the leadership of the country 16 months ago decided to reform the political economy and defense architecture given the critical juncture the uh, country found itself. So he lamented that Nigeria found itself in a precarious situation because of the missed opportunities and mistakes of the past while calling on Nigerians not to allow the mistakes to follow the country into the future. Uh, this was part of the text uh, of the national broadcast by the president. Then uh, he listed a lot of things that they had achieved already. Uh, let me just go straight to that because there's a lot here. He said uh, the economy was undergoing necessary reforms and retooling to serve the people better and more sustainably. Uh, thanks to the reforms, our country attracted foreign direct investment worth more than 30 billion US dollars in the last year. He says we inherited a reserve of over 33 billion 16 months ago. Since then, we've paid back the inherited forex backlog of 7 billion US dollars. We've cleared the ways and means a debt of over 30 trillion. We have reduced the debt service ratio from 97% to 68%. Despite all this, we've managed to keep our foreign reserve at 37 uh, billion uh, US dollars. We continue to meet all our obligations and pay our bills. We are moving ahead with our fiscal policy, uh, policy reforms. And um, he now said to stimulate our productive capacity and create more jobs and prosperity, the federal Executive Council approved the economic stabilization bills, which will now be transmitted to the National Assembly. He said these bills will make our business environment more friendly, stimulate investment, and reduce the tax burden on businesses and workers once they are passed into law. Um, it's a whole read. It's uh, written in the punch and in the nation. I think Nigerians should go and mm, look at it and see. Online. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I have the 27 billion uh, Naira fraud. So the ex-governor um, of Taraba State, former governor of Taraba State, Darius Ishaku, and the former PS of the Buri for local government and chieftaincy affairs, Belo Yero, have been remanded in the EFCC custody by the Federal High Court in uh, Maitama, Abuja, following, of course, this 27 billion naira um, diversion belonging to the state. So the EFCC broke down this amount from a billion, which was um, diverted between August 25 and September, uh, sorry, August 25, 2015 and March 21, 2016, as well as several other periods of time, the 650 million, um, the total amount of 27 billion at the end of the day, which is what they've been brought to court for. The suit was heard yesterday and the courts remanded them for uh, further hearing later. Okay. okay. Okay, I have detectives of Criminal Investigation Department in Oweri, Imo State. Uh, Monday, they had dismantled a notorious child trafficking syndicate that involved in abduction of children from unsuspecting parents. Um, the uh, spokesperson for the police said that the operation led to the rescue of three children. These children were abducted July 24th in Indiwebu Umumwa Onicha. Uh, in BC local government. The suspects that were arrested, Ifoma Anyangu, 41, a local, uh, and then uh, Chibuzo Loki, 42, um, Charity Kalu, 24, and um, Isidora Izioma, 56. All of them, you know, from different parts of the state. Uh, wait, I'm sorry, there's Imo, some from Imo Abia uh, states, and they said that these children were lured. They were playing outside and then they were lured into a tricycle where they were taken away and were sold for a million naira. Hey. Uh, thankfully, the police were able to, with thorough investigation, rescue these children and they're also seeking for the remaining missing children and they mm. seem quite hopeful, but they're also charging parents, please more vigilant mm. and keep your eyes on your children because these wicked people are just milling around waiting yes, for so. the moment that you turn your you Go know, back. eyes away from your kids. Mm. Yes. So well so, done to the police. Um, well done. Mm. The well done. Yeah. So the, another police story, the, um, the operators of the police are saying the operators of the Delta States, Delta Yahoo Academy are going to face eh? trial. Eh? Hmm. What did you just Delta say? Delta Yahoo Academy. <laughs> <laughs> what did wow. you just That's what they call it. Wow. They said the, the academy is known as the Hustlers Kingdom mm -hmm. and it's in worry. They took 123 suspects. Mm. Uh, they came across the um, school, the academy, when one of the inmates, I don't know whether I should call him inmates, I mean students, mm -hmm. or had sent his parents 
an SOS message through the laptop that they gave him, saying that he was trapped. And um, so they managed to infiltrate and um, capture 123 of them. Mm. So they said um, the suspects were lured into a trap with promises of learning, ETC trading, and Forex, only to find themselves in Hustler's Kingdom, a notorious cyber crime, crime training network. The, the, it's very, very... Cyber mm. crime training network. You know, my own fear is the suspects, a lot of them are, are there without knowing yes. what they're there for. So mm -hmm. are they going to try them? I know, but when you get there, you not know. No, no, well, I know. Well, so it's better that they, you know... Yeah, they try the founders of the academy. Yes, it's not, it's the founders. It's not, it's not the, the first time. The, the children. The yeah, it's not no, the first time. Most of them are between, 17, 18, yeah. 19, and 20. I mean, the oldest being 20. Then they need there to was go. a video yeah. trending yeah. on time at, on social media where a lady said she had trained some boys mm. to they know do they yeah. Yawa and then pay her some money and that she felt that they were diverting her money. She beat those boys mercilessly on that video. Hmm. Mm. It was online and I was wondering, this is much more shiri. They lured them from Kaduna, Akwai Bomb, or Yo to that particular estate and beat them. They beat them. And Rehabilitate and recruit them. Uh, yeah, properly. Feeding them, yes. them feeding only properly when they feel like it. So you uh, see, they're, they're actually prisoners. They're yes, not, yes. yes. You know, they're not voluntary subscribers. Mm. Right. All right, let's move on now to the Vanguard. Uh, major headline protests. Police talk stuff. Organizers allege intimidation. Um, Bobriski, federal government inaugurates five-member pro panel. Nigeria 64, Jonathan, Atiku, governors, NLC, others urge unity to tackle nation's challenges. Food crisis were focused on eliminating terrorists and bandits. Reverse local government poll, conflicting others bar INEC from releasing voters register to RSIEC. CGN swears in Isha, Ubani, Atijon, 84 others as SAN. Banditry, expert faults, governor, Lawal's allegation against uh, Matawali. Uh, that's what we have in the Vanguard. Okay, what? so let me take the CJ because um, Ola Shukwa at I usually, I used to think it was the Yoruba name for two friends, but apparently it's the name of one person. So the CJNs were in, administered the oath um, um, to 87 senior legal practitioners recently elevated to the rank of SAN, and some of them were mentioned, of course, Ola Shukwa at I didn't know it was one person. Mm. And then um, Latif <coughs> Karim, Wole Mi Eson, Monde Obani, and several others, Charles Musa, and many others. And the CJ vowed to sanitize the judiciary by wielding the big stick against Iran judges and lawyers. She performed this as her first official function, um, flagging up the 2024 2025 legal year of the Supreme Court, and an occasion that gave her the opportunity to administer them. She also spoke during the special session and held to mark the commencement of the new legal year. The judiciary will adhere to the principles of honesty, transparency, and integrity. And the code of conduct for judicial officers will be strictly enforced. Mm. And um, similarly, ethical standards will be expected of the bar. I like this, particularly because whoever thinks Bobriski would have taken that, you know, the lawyer representing uh, VDM was at the House of Reps and addressed himself as a troublemaker. Very. Oh, well. Very undignifying of the profession. Uh, I hope that they are looking out for such. <laughs> See how serious she's looking now. <laughs> uh, YK, do you have a story, the Vanguard? Yeah, I took the Bobriski that the, the federal government has inaugurated a five uh, member pro panel to investigate the allegations made by Very Dark Man to, um, against, well, Bob, uh, he released a tape. Uh, the Bobriski wasn't at the trial. Okay. At the sorry, at the hearing, very dark man came with heavy stones. <laughs> uh, uh, the EFCC were there. The prisoners were there. So w one of the officers, which I found very interesting, because I watched it, and he said, "He's not on suspension now. Is this not him? That they were suspended by social media." <laughs> hey, whoa. So his suspension is on social media, it's which allows him media. to come in his official uh, mm -hmm. gear. Mm -hmm. was in his uniform. Whoa. So, but uh, the, um, the Nigerian uh, prison service have answered and said they've been drawn to a trending video of one of its senior officers purporting that the service has not served him a letter. 
<laughs> and he has said that he's actually suspended. He won't. You know, so... I, I think we'll look into the, that. Shemis, I think it's part well, of this our, our elders. Yeah. They need to learn to talk. Ah. You know, you just want to talk. They need to learn to behave first. Behave yes. and talk. Now your behavior, now you make it yeah. talk anyhow. You don't see elders, just they talk anyhow. <laughs> I, 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 I told you Babuski said he was ill. That's why he didn't come. Oh, wow. Mm. Babuski said no. Okay, final paper before we have to run. Nigerian Tribune. Uh, we'll look at uh, stories we haven't taken. Petrol subsidy will bankrupt Nigeria. Omokri wants who has that. We've taken Babuski here. Mm, October 1, IGP orders water tight security. We've taken that. Okay. I take on, on, on the shortest way. He just was addressing okay. removal of subsidy, saying continuous payment of subsidy would bankrupt us. We should support the federal government in the removal of subsidy. Okay. That's it, Barry. Okay. Thank you, ladies. That's all we can take on the newspaper reviews. When we come back, we move on to our hot topic. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your View will be right back.